Welcome to chapter 3. Um, in this chapter, we're going to focus on a lot of things. Chap this first section is about systems of linear equations. You already know that a linear equation is something like y equals 2x plus 4. It's a linear equation. We could graph it. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is a y-intercept. goes up 2 and over 1, or down 2 and over 1. This is this first one. This is one linear equation. A system of linear equations is two or more. So we would add something like y equals negative 3x minus 2. So the y-intercept is negative 2 minus 3. We lose 3. 1, 2, 3. Go over 1. Like this. Okay. When you have a system of linear equations and it tells you to solve this system, what it's asking you is to find the point that they cross. That's where the solution is. So it's asking you to find what is this place where they cross. Um, so that's what we need to find. Now you can graph it by hand. I really don't suggest it though because we can do everything on the calculator and we can use the calculator to help us find the answer as well. So let's take a look. Let's type in 2x plus 4, 2x plus 4, and negative 3 x minus 2 will graph for these two equations. Now, if you type these in and you don't get something where you can't see the graphs, all you got to do is press zoom 6 standard. It's going to give you a standard graph. Okay? So, we need to find the point at which they cross. Your graphing calculator can also do this very well. We're going to use this calculate button that's right above trace. So, I can't draw on the calculator, unfortunately. But there's this calculate button right here, right above trace. So we're going to hit second, calculate, intercept, intersect, sorry. And it's going to say first curve. And what that means is, what's your first line? We're going to hit OK. This is my first line. It's OK. Second one, yep, it's on the second line. That's OK. And the intersection, it's going to tell us, is negative 1.2 and 1.6. So the solution is negative 1.2. 1.6. That's this point. Um, I should also say that sometimes when you go to graph those two, and I deleted it, so I'll type it right back in. Um, sometimes when you go to graph those two, and this doesn't happen all the time, um, it asks you to find the first, to tell it what the first curve is, and the second curve. So second, calculate, intersect. First curve, yes. Second curve, yes. See, it's asking me to guess what the answer will be. Um, I don't really need to do that. I don't even know why it asks me to guess. Like, it should be the one telling me. So I'm just going to press enter. Okay, and see, it found it. It didn't need me to guess what the answer was. Okay. Um, so there are three things that can happen when you have a set of two equations. Sometimes there's only one solution. So sometimes, like in this situation that we just did, there is exactly one solution. because there's only one point where those cross. When this happens, the vocabulary you need to know is these lines are consistent and independent. That's important vocab for chapter section 3.1. Consistent and independent. Because those lines only have one solution where they cross. Now, sometimes this won't be the case. Um, sometimes, if I can get my pen back, sometimes there will be an infinite amount of solutions. And I'm sure you can already imagine when there's an infinite amount of solutions, that's when you have the exact same line. So you have a line like this, and then guess what? The other equation turns out to be the exact same line, so you graph it again right over there. Um, so this, this is an infinite number of solutions. And when this happens, we say they are consistent. Consistent means there is an answer, at least one. We say they are dependent when you have the same line. Okay. Um, the last situation is when you have no solution at all. 
And you can probably guess when this happens already, there's no solution when the lines are parallel to each other, because we have one right here, and maybe the other line will be right here. Those lines will never cross, therefore there can never be a solution, because the solution is where the lines touch each other, whether it's one time or an infinite amount of times. Here they will never cross, they'll never touch. We just say, for this, the third situation is there's no solution, and they are inconsistent. No solution, inconsistent is the vocab you need to know. We'll just look at one more example. Let's say it gives you these equations. It tells you negative 2x plus y equals 5, and y equals negative x plus 2. Now we want to plug those into our graphing calculator, but we can't because this one is this one we can. It's in slope-intercept form. This one is not. This one up here. So we need to make that in slope-intercept form. So let's add 2x. And so we're going to get y is equal to 5 plus 2x. That is something we can type into our calculator. So let's go ahead and do that. See what we get. Because I don't even know what's going to happen. So we have y equals 5 plus 2x, or we can say 2x plus 5. That's a, stand, that's a normal way to write it. We have negative x plus 2. So we'll punch that in and hit graph. So in this one, they cross one time. They are consistent, because there is an answer, and independent. And let's find what the solution actually is. So on your calculator, of course, second, calculate the intersect, first curve, OK, whatever, second curve, OK, make a guess. I'm going to laugh in my calculator's face. Of course, I'm not going to make a guess. And it tells me negative 1, 3. So the intersection is negative 1, 3. That's the solution of this.